Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 9, form 3, topic 3, we were dealing with chemical borosis of al alkenes and we have done the first one and the second one. The first one was combustion of alkenes and the second one was addition reactions. And we said addition reaction is a reaction in which one molecule adds to another to form a single product. So today, lesson 10, we want to proceed to the third chemical properties of alkenes, which is self-addition reaction of alkenes. And we are saying polymerization. Polymerization is a process in which several monomers combine to form a polymer. Ethene molecules have the ability to react with each other to form a larger molecule which has a higher molecular mass. Each molecule of ethene is known as monomer. When many monomers are joined together, they form a polymer. And we are seeing the following equations show how a polymer is formed. So this is what we are going to have. We said ethene has the ability to react itself. So we have ethene, which is written C2H4, reacting with another ethene molecule. Then this process is called polymerization, and this reaction is called polymerization reaction. So what we are going to do is um, how we are going to form the polymer is that we just deal with the same thing the way we were dealing with addition reaction. First of all, ethene is written like this. So H, 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 plus another ethene of the same. So we are going to have H, 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 H here. Then we are going to have our arrow through polymerization. What will happen is, first of all, the double bond are going to, to be broken. There we are going to have four carbon one two three four so we are going to show single bonds then remember how many hydrogen were you having in the first ethene four put the four up there so we're going to have one two three four like that how many hydrogen atoms were you having in the other ethene again four so put those four in the downside one two three four then we are going to put it a bracket like that and what you have gotten is just a polymer of ethene which is known as polyethene or polythene. So we are going to have the volume of ethene here. It is called polyethene or polythene. Okay, in case you want to do the polymerization for propene, you do the same. The propene plus propene will give you polypropene like that. So I say when ethene molecules join with each other this way, they form a polymer known as polyethene. This polymerization process can be represented by a general formula or by a general equation. So here we are having ethene. So this general formula is for only ethene. So we are having the number of N here, which is the number of monomers. The ethene, it, it is open structural formula through polymerization process. The double bond breaks up. So we are going to have the four hydrogen, two up, two down. We are going to close with these two bonds. So we are putting N here, and N is 2, 3, 4, 5. In other words, N equals the number of monomers. For example, if I want to draw the polymerization for maybe 50 monomers of ethene, what I'm going to do is I will just write 50, then I'm going to write the ethene structural formula. So we are going to have like this. So we are going to close like that. Then through polymerization process, what we are going to do is we are going to just remove the double bond or break the double bond. Then I was having four hydrogen there. I'm going to put the four hydrogen two up. Then I'm going to put two down. Then I'm going to close with bracket. Then the 50 monomers of ethene, I'm going to put it down here. So this is the polyethene, which is from, from I mean from 50 monomers of ethene okay next we are going to go number four or the fourth chemical properties of alkene which is oxidation of alkenes when ethene is bubbled into acidified potassium manganese 7 solution the color of the solution turns from bubble to colorless or acidified or bubbled acidified potassium manganese 7 solution is decolorized and this is because potassium manganese 7 is an oxidizing agent and adds oxygen at the double bond. Hence, bubble manganese 7 ions, which are having the bubble color, 
get reduced to colorless manganese two ions and also water and i say this is also another test for lichens and the question is here we have ethene so when ethene is bubbled through acidified potassium manganese 7 solution so we are having two moles of hydrogen ion define this potassium manganese 7 using acid of sulfuric 6 acid then this potassium manganese 7 which is an oxidizing agent add this oxygen gas or two atoms of oxygen at the double bond so that means the double bond breaks up so we're going to have ethene which we used to write like this then blast there we have two atoms of oxygen which we have gotten from the oxidizing agent so what will happen here so we are going to have first of all the double bond breaks up we are going to remain with single bonds so how many hydrogen were you having initially in the four so put the four like this these are four hydrogen then this is one two three four then remember we are going to have two atoms of oxygen one atom of oxygen here and the other atoms of oxygen there then when we were acidifying the potassium and the seven we have used two moles of hydrogen ions so we're going to have one hydrogen there then put the other hydrogen there so this is the product that you're going to have and the name of that is called ethan 1,2 diol okay let me explain here so here we said this is how we write ethene so when we are reacting ethene with the acidified potassium magnesium 7 this potassium magnesium 7 has been acidified that means we are going to have two atoms of hydrogen or two hydrogen ions then this oxidizing agents what it has done is it has added two atoms of oxygen at the double bond so the double bond breaks up so we're going to have two carbon and we're having the bonds so initially we're having four hydrogen one two three four then we're having two more hydrogen from the the acidified side or from the sulfurosic acid then we are going to have two atoms of oxygen one is placed here and the other is placed here so to name this we're having oh which came from the organic compound called alkanol then alkanols they are having oh as their functional group then we're having two oh here so we're going to say ethan which stands for two carbon atoms then we're going to have one comma two which is the functional group then we're going to say die because we're having two functional groups of alkanol then we're going to try the suffix for alkanol which is ol or ol then next we are going to go to the fifth chemical properties of alkenes that is hydrolysis of alkenes so you see hydrolysis is a reaction of a compound with water such that the hydroxyl group of the water remains in contact alkenes undergo hydrolysis to form the, the respective alkanol this reaction takes place in two steps the first step we are told alkenes reacts with concentrated sulfurosic acid at room temperature to form alkyl hydrogen sulfate then step two on adding water to alkyl hydrogen sulfate then warmed and alkanol is formed example so you're saying when ethene reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid at room temperature to form ethyl hydrogen sulfate or forms ethyl hydrogen sulfate how are we going to do that this is how we write ethene then this is how we write sulfuric acid so what will happen the double bond breaks up there we are going to have something like this show the bonds then how many hydrogen were you having when you are dealing with that side of 18 four hydrogen one two three uh, four when you're dealing with sulfuric six acid what we are going to have is two hydrogen so you can say one two then on top of the two hydrogen we have sulfate radical so we can put anywhere the sulfate radical so if you put it here well and good if you put it down here well and good so this is how we are going to write ethyl hydrogen sulfate so next we are saying when ethyl hydrogen sulfate is added to water and warmed the product form is ethanol so how are we going to write ethanol so check here ethyl hydrogen sulfate plus water will give us ethanol plus sulfuric acid so we know how to write sulfuric six acid so it's written h2 so4 then when we check how or the, our reactant we're having two hydrogen so this is the two hydrogen it's in the sulfuric acid then we have sulfate there in sulfuric acid so we remove again this and sulfate we put it there so what remains are two carbon 
So I'm going to write the two carbon, show the bonds. Then how many hydrogen do you remain with? One, two, three, four, five. And this one, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, we have not used this oxygen. So you can put this oxygen here or any, any side. So what you're going to have there will be ethanol. This is an ethanol because we are having OH, which is the functional group for alkanol. Okay, next we are going to go to tests of uh, alkenes. When we are saying the addition reactions of alkenes with bromine water or acidified potassium manganese 7, manganese 7 can be used to test for the presence of the double bond as both get decolorized. So that means if you have an alkene and you bubble through bromine water, that means bromine water decolorizes. If you bubble through acidified potassium manganese 7, bubble acidified potassium manganese 7 decolorizes also. So let's proceed to the uses of alkenes. Number one, they are used in the manufacture of plastics. They are used in the ripening of fruits, especially ethene. They are used in the manufacture of detergents, used in the manufacture of ethanol through hydrolysis reactions. And we are saying in the laboratory preparation of ethan 12 diol which is called glycol, which is used as in coolant, especially as an engine coolant. So, learners, that's the end of our lesson today. Thank you for watching.